British Columbia is must visit place for people who enjoy the outdoors. It has excellent hiking trails and plenty of ski resorts. You can enjoy fishing, canoeing and kayaking, mountain biking and cross country skiing. British Columbia also attracts many ghost hunters and paranormal investigators. With a strong tradition for ghost stories dating back centuries, many see British Columbia as Canada's most hunted province. Whatever your feelings on phantoms, maybe the following locations are worth a visit on Halloween or while you are around. Paramount Hotel, Vancouver, Vancouver Opened in 1939, Paramount Hotel Vancouver is touted as one of Canada's Grand Railway Hotels. Visitors claim that the hotel is haunted by a lady in red, often spotted on the 14th floor and ground floor lobby near the guest elevator doors. The coast is said to be of a Vancouver socialite named Jenny Pearl Cox. According to local legends, she leads guests out of their room and to the elevator before disappearing into thin air. The ghostly apparitions of a maid is also said to make regular appearances. More recently, disembodied footsteps and strange sound have been recorded by security cameras in a stairwell near the 14th floor. Highcroft Manor, Vancouver Highcroft Manor is a stately home located in upscale neighborhood of Shaughnessy and easily one of Vancouver's most haunted locations. It was completed in 1911 for General Alexander Duncan McRae. Seven ghosts are known to roam these 30 room structures. These seven ghosts include the ghost of General McRae dressed in World War I uniform the ghost of Mrs. McRae, a well-dressed lady, the nurse, three army veterans, and the crying man. Operations of three army veterans, known as the pranksters, by mansion staffs because they open and close doors and curse lights to flicker. Creek Tarot Castle, Victoria Creek Tarot Castle was constructed in the late 1800s as a family residence for the wealthy Scottish coal baron Robert Tansmoyer and his wife Joan. Robert died in April 1889, 17 months before construction on the castle was completed and his son Alexander and James took over the role of finishing the castle. People have encountered a specific Post frequently which they believe to be John Tansmoon. Basement of the castle is assumed to be haunted by a young girl, likely the second daughter of Robert Tansmoon. She died soon after Rob. Others have heard the ghostly crying sound of a child, objects moving on their own and the sound of a piano coming from the dining room when no one's present. Empress Hotel Victoria One of the oldest hotels in British Columbia capital, Empress Hotel was designed by Francis Rattenbury and opened in 1908. Undergoing two expansions, it welcomed several prominent personalities such as kings, queens and movie personalities of 1900s. Locals believe the hotel is haunted and there are some unwelcome occupants that wander the hallways, clean the rooms and knock on guest doors. Spooky stories of these ghostly cats include most notably the ghost of the hotel's designer, a maid on the sixth floor, the creepiest old woman in her pajama who cannot find her room and a construction worker who killed himself. British Columbia Penitentiary, New Westminster The British Columbia Penitentiary was federal maximum security prison located in New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. The British Columbia Penitentiary operated for 102 years until it was decommissioned in 1980. 
Not much of the building is left but the graveyard, a prison cemetery called Boot Hill. It is the final resting place for at least 43 to 62 inmates, the convicted felons, including murderers, child molesters, petty thieves, thugs, or pre-secuted members of British Columbia's radical Doko War sect. With all the horror, torment, torture, suicides, riots, assaults, stabbings, escapes, attempts, and murders experienced behind prison walls. There is no wonder why it is said to be extremely haunted. Edley Castle, Kulwun Edley Castle, now home to the Public Royal Roads University, is considered by believers to be haunted by a parlor maid named Annabelle and James Densmuir's son, James Jr. Densmuir. It was featured by Creepy Canada. There have been accounts of music playing in the story, strange noises such as footsteps and doors opening and closing have also been reported in the castle. Waterfront Station, Vancouver Situated at the western end of Gastown, Waterfront Station, the main transit Terminus in downtown Vancouver has many ghosts. It is considered as the most haunted building in Vancouver with multiple reports of apparitions and furniture moving of their own echoes. Locals confirmed the sightings of a woman in a 1920s flapper dress, ghost of an old woman with mournful face, ghost of three little old ladies sitting on a station bench ghost of a rail worker and headless brakeman roaming the tracks with his lantern glowing in his hand. Staff have also heard phantom footsteps and seen moving desks. Tranquil Sanatorium Kamloops Tranquil Sanatorium, located near Kamloops, is also considered by locals to be haunted. It opened in 1907 as a tuberculosis sanatorium and continued to do so until 1958 and later the site was used as an institution for the mentally disabled. No doubt, it witnessed the deaths of many of its patients. Visitors claimed to see a mother crying for her child on the 6th and 8th floors while others have reported hearing the voices of kids playing in the children's ward or seeing bright orbs near the main entrance. Old Spaghetti Factory Guest Town The Old Spaghetti Factory in the historic district of Guest Town, Vancouver is claimed to be the most haunted. The Old Spaghetti Factory has four ghosts in residence. The first and best known is the spirit of a tram conductor. The second ghost is a small, mischievous spirit with a ruddy face and bright red hair, simply known as the Little Red Man or Lucky Lou. Third ghost is that of a young boy identified as Edward. The fourth ghost of a little girl who appears at a table in the front window. Three sheets and hold a balloon. New Westminster Secondary School, New Westminster New Westminster Secondary School in New Westminster is one of the largest high schools in British Columbia. It witnessed the drowning of a boy in the basement pool in the early 1970s. The boy is claimed to haunt the high school. Please like, comment, and share this video, and subscribe our channel. Press bell icon, to see updates on our latest videos.